Blow a bubble for me. Whoa! <laughs> How are you guys today? We have an awesome Hi. day planned. Hi. So a couple of you guys have asked me actually over the last few weeks to talk a little bit about homeschool. I actually do homeschool with all of our kids. Except for Ellie. Well, Ellie's homeschooled too. She's just learning a little bit less than you are. Yeah, She's just starting on the ABCs. Yeah. But Corbin actually, we taught him how to read. He's only five years old and he's reading books at a third and fourth grade level. Chapter books. That's exactly right. So we started reading the Magic Tree House series. Rebecca hey, said she really loved those when she was a kid. Look at me. What's up? A B C D F G H I K N L P. You're still working on it. She's still working on it. Good job! Give me five. She's <laughs> still working. We're working on the ABCs. I wanted to show you guys a little bit about what we do each day for homeschool. So do you want to go grab your books, Corbin? Just to give you guys a little bit of background, I was actually homeschooled all growing up except for third and fourth grade. I did do public school. I really, really loved it. I loved the freedom that I had to kind of study whatever I want, whenever I want. I actually, all through high school, I taught myself algebra up to the point where I finally graduated and I was at a college algebra level. I know how to teach myself and I used to always also help my little brothers and sisters with their school because I'm from a family of nine kids just like my wife is also from a family of nine kids so but we are all homeschooled so we get our books from Rebecca so this is the same company that I used growing up when I was learning math and when I was doing school so we used Rebecca books math books probably until around third or fourth grade and then we did Saxon math all the way up through the rest of high school and I love these books I feel like they're pretty advanced and what's cool about I'm gonna go get my pencil. yeah go get your pencil go get your pencil you got your books there too some language and spelling books Nice, letters and sounds. I don't really have any more pencils, so I got this one. Okay, that'll work. James is in first grade this year, so we got him a bunch of first grade books. But Corbin was pretty much on the same level with James as far as reading and math. So I went ahead and got Corbin first grade books too, even though Corbin's only in preschool. And so Corbin has been doing these first grade books right along with James, and they've both been doing awesome at it. What's yeah. nice is that Corbin can actually read the lesson. What does it say you have to do today, Corbin? Write the sums, add the ones, call them first, then add the tens, call them. Good job. Uh, so then he knows how to do it. Plus Five is nine. Uh huh. Two plus five is six. Nope. I mean seven. Good. <laughs> What's really awesome about homeschool is there's a lot of flexibility. If we're on trips or if we're away, we can take a break from homeschool and work on it later. If it's the summer, we can do homeschool too. So that's really nice that we can take our time, do it at whatever day works five, best for us. Again. Four plus five is nine. Good job. Plus, I think it's fun time to be able to spend with the kids. They really love doing it too. Guess what I got for my birthday? What's up, dude? Art kit. That's right. One of your friends gave you an art kit. Yeah. Very cool. Were any of you guys homeschooled? And if so, what curriculum did you use? Did you like it? Did you not like it? One of the big things that we think a lot about with homeschool with these guys is to make sure that they play with friends and get together with other kids at their age. So that way they can be able to, to have friends. And I think that's really, really important too. The little one comes out with six, so it's eight, sixty. 8.30. Right, good job. <laughs> One of my biggest goals in educating my kids as a parent is to get them to a point where they can educate themselves, where they can literally take a book, read it, and learn how to do it all on their own. So often in Corbin's book, he'll get to a page that I believe he could probably do all by himself. And I did this all by myself. So yeah. Corbin, I want you to do this next page right here, all by yourself. And if you can do the whole page by yourself, I'll give you a little piece of candy, okay? A lot of times when I was growing up, my mom would give us candy for different pages. If we did a page of this, or if we read a chapter of this book or that book, we'd get a treat for that. So Corbin, I'll give you this Twizzler if you can do that page all by yourself. Sound good? Ready, set, go! Meanwhile, James is working on an art project. He's coloring an awesome snowmobile with his color set. That's sweet, dude. After this page with Corbin, then we're gonna do some math with you too, okay? Cool. Okay, Corbin just says that he did the whole page already. That was really fast. 
Whoa! Dude, you did do the whole page. That was so fast. Good job, man. That was way faster than I thought you were gonna do it. There you go, dude. Yeah. Good job, man. <laughs> you, is that not fair? Because you want some treats too? Hey. Oh, little chubber, 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 chubber. You want some candy? You want some candy? <laughs> a lot of times it's really hard for me to do school with both of the boys at the same time So what I'll sometimes do is let one of them switch off playing video games while I work on math with the other one So that way they each get some individual attention Sometimes it's fun when we're done with all the workbooks to just sit down and read a story together And now we get like we're reading Farmer Boy That's right We've been reading the Laura Ingalls books and we're almost done with it. That's right, we're almost done with Farmer Boy. So we're gonna read a little bit from this. The wind howled and the snow whirled, and a mournful sound came from the cedars. The skeleton apple trees rattled their branches together like bones. The skeleton apple trees? Apple trees, see look, leaves are all gone, it looks like a skeleton. So it's a skeleton tree? <clears throat> mm -hmm. All outdoors was dark and wild and noisy. Are you cold? Are you cold, Charlie? Yeah. He says no as he's shivering. No! <laughs> come on in, Charlie! Heavy wire. How much should I cut? Okay, so come here. I'll show you. Set that down. Yeah. We'll get the find the end of it. That's the, the first thing we do. Find the end. Can you see it? Now what we do is we go a little bit into it, probably right here. Ooh, he doodles. It almost got me. This one's kind of a hard one, so I'll have to probably help you. Here, can you trade me? Oh, I think you can help do this, right? Glass on those two parts. Yeah, so it can be glasses. <laughs> Good job, guys. <laughs> Whoa! Outside, they're blowing bubbles. Hi, guys. Hi. I am going through it. Oh, Ellie, I don't know if you should do that. Okay. <laughs> this is the stickiest stuff, though. Oh, well. Oh, I missed it! You can be really bubbly. Yeah, I have a crack already today. Oh. He's gonna have, probably have to have another. I'm lashing off my arm. Whoa, there it is! I washed off my armpit and it got on my hip. Oh, you almost had it. Good job. Blow a bubble for me. Whoa! Yeah. Woo! Ellie got bubbles in her eyes. Whoa! <laughs> How was that? Hold on. I'm gonna go in the house for a second. Can you hear Ellie? The hazards of bubbles in the eyes. She's saying my eyes. So mom's helping her right now in the bathroom. I didn't even think about with when she when she's putting it on her head. I think she'll be okay though. Don't, okay, from now on, guys, don't put any bubbles on your head. You know why? Because Ellie got bubbles in her eyes. And it hurts, that's right. She'll be okay, she really will be. At least the bubbles in the eyes aren't too bad. Okay, let Corman have a try. After you do that, oh! <laughs> okay, now it's Corbin's turn. Oh, wow. <laughs> Popped up and over the roof. Here we go. All the way in, all the way in. You got it all nice and soapy. It's like, see? Put that, that bubble in. Woo! You gotta hold it up way high on these bigger ones. And then lift up, lift up, lift up. Way up high, and then open it. Yeah! That's how it goes. Eh, it's kind of tangled. Oh! Oh, yeah! That's what I'm talking about. Whoa! That pops! Corbin! <laughs> oh, <whoa. laughs> I'll show you Ryan! Look behind you! Look behind you! <laughs> I'm gonna show you something. It blew up the and it went into there and it popped on the cardboard. Cool! Oh, be careful! Oh. <laughs>